There's no way to look cool the moment after you win an Olympic event, and most athletes don't even try. But they still need to do something with their bodies at that moment. <laughs> so for any aspiring champions out there, I've compiled a comprehensive taxonomy of acceptable hand gestures to perform in the event that you win at the Olympics. First, there's the classic hand raise. It's an almost instinctual victory gesture, and seems to be a favorite among 10,000 meter racers. But very quickly you start looking floppy and awkward, at which point you have a choice. Stay open palmed or transition into a closed palm gesture. Let's take a look at the open palm family of gestures. There's the I don't give a crap how I look because I'm just so happy even if I came in second, pioneered by Emil Zatopek in 1948. Or if you find yourself at a total loss for words, you can just get ready to eat a giant apple, like Michael Johnson in 1996. Now if the open palm look feels either too grand or too floppy, you can transition into a closed palm gesture. Here's Billy Mills in 1964, realizing that his classic hand raise started looking too bouncy, and gracefully transitioning into the Bulgarian grandfather. So named because it's what my grandfather used to do when he succeeded in doing literally anything, including opening a jar or cutting a head in a line. If you want to go closed palm but don't want to look like my grandfather, well, there's the finger display family of gestures. Here's Liu Xiong with a single finger display, Michael Phelps with a double finger display, and Tiranish Dibaba with a double finger display plus wag. Nobody does the single finger display plus wag because that looks like you're scolding the people who lost to you, and that would be rude. Okay, let's get into some more complicated gestures. For the more performative sports, there's the ta-da. If you're more pumped than relieved, there's the muscle man shuffle, plus mouth display. If you just beat Maria Sharapova, there's the crip walk. And if you're Usain Bolt, there's a gesture invented specifically by you. Here we go, this is it. But if these finely choreographed sequences are just too much to memorize, you can always follow the lead of Germany's Matthias Steiner and mash the controller. 